Welcome to Jambi's Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to centralize your WhatsApp business messages on Meta Business to allow other people to be able to manage those messages whether they have the phone that has it or not. Now let's get started. So first of all, in order to do this, you need to connect the Facebook account you want to set it up on to your WhatsApp business. And I have already shown you how to connect Facebook page to WhatsApp. I've shown you how to connect Instagram page to WhatsApp. If you haven't seen that, check that on my on my channel. So this page that I'm using is already connected to WhatsApp business. You can see here, you can check here on edit action button. As you can see, that's already set on WhatsApp. So yeah, the next step you want to do is go to Meta Business. This could be, you could go directly to Meta Business through business.facebook.com or on your page on the left hand side, just scroll down, you'll see Meta Business and click on that. So now that we're on Meta Business, again, make sure it's connected to the page you want to connect that to. If you want to change, you can change over here. On this drop down, you can change the page you want to connect to. So since it's on the right page, I'll go to inbox. And at the top here, you can see all messages, messenger, Instagram, then WhatsApp. This is a new feature. Click on WhatsApp. You can see what this will allow you to do. Save time with a shared WhatsApp business account in inbox. So this will allow you to respond to customers by inviting multiple team members to help manage the messages. This will allow you to view all your messages in one place from messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp. And then this will also allow you to discover effective messaging tools like assigned conversations to increase return on investments on your ads. So it has quite a number of advantages. So let's get started. It's asking what phone number do you want to use? That's the one I've already set up on my WhatsApp business. I'll click continue. So it's asking me to review information. You can't see the next button from here. So I'll just uh, reduce the zoom that i can click next so next it's saying add whatsapp to your business portfolio yeah you can read through that mm -hmm. i'll go to next that's a connect accounts so it's adding it to my business my meta business that is lizzie jambi's meta business so it's saying share your contacts and chats share your contacts and up to six months of chat history from the whatsapp business app before you proceed, please update the app to the latest version. I believe mine is up to date to the latest version. So I will proceed to I will proceed to open uh, WhatsApp business. In fact, it's already telling me connect to business platform, scan the QR code, it sent me a message. So this is the message I've gotten from the WhatsApp business from the Facebook site. So I'll go ahead and scan the QR code to connect the business connect to the business platform i'll go ahead and do that i can choose not to share don't don't share chat the history so let me just scan that and this is what i'm seeing from the phone side of it you've connected to inbox in meta business suit you can manage your connection at any time go to settings tap account then business platform i'll just click ok on that so yeah, and it's saying you can only be connected to one business platform account at a time. If you disconnect from inbox in Meta, which you can do, I will show you how to do that later. And then you'll lose access to its features. Your WhatsApp business app will not be affected. Remember to open your app at least every 14 days to keep your connection alive or active <laughs> if you prefer. And it is finished. It's saying you're ready to use WhatsApp in inbox. Your WhatsApp business account is available. There we go. But we'll review your business to ensure your, to ensure compliance with WhatsApp commerce policy. We'll notify you in inbox within 24 hours if there's an issue. So yeah, that's it. We are connected. Now let's take a tour of the inbox. Let's continue. So here you go. You can delete personal conversations before you start inviting your team. Over here under manage, you can build a team in inbox. This is where you will add people to be able to manage that account. That's under settings. I can show you how to do all this in future videos. Make sure you subscribe and follow this channel. There you go. You can get more with message ads. So you can do WhatsApp message ads, which I will show you how to do in future videos. Subscribe. And that's it. Now let's send a message to that WhatsApp business and see what happens. And there we go. 
it's brought in the message on the whatsapp inbox and from the sender side it's showing this business is now using a secure service from meta to manage this chat that's it guys that is how you connect your whatsapp business to meta business suit to allow you to add a team to manage your inbox your business inbox i will show you how to add a team and manage this in the next video so stay tuned subscribe like the video if you learn something new and leave a comment and let me know what else you'd like to learn in digital marketing social media management and ai platforms